Hello everyone, and welcome back. My name's Nicholas, and this is Major Crit. Here we are, back in a Brinstar on Zebes or Zebes. I probably will never know how to pronounce that pr properly. I feel like Zebes is how I want to pronounce it, but then I've heard some people with great speak, with great authority about it, refer to it as Zebes. But you know what? Rather than just calling it two names, I'm just going to call it the name that comes naturally to me. Thebes, and if we've got any, you know, real Metroid heads in the chat, then, uh, you know, fight me, I guess. Gun this way. Yeah. Down, and then far right. Interesting that it still shows the red um, missile doors as being red missile doors, even uh, after they've been hit once, and are now just blue beam doors in function. Noticing that on the map there. Thirty is my maximum right now. Now, what was it that blocked me off last time? Yeah, I need to remember. I've got a charge beam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember this now. Nope. Oop. All right, good. There. Not sure how we're gonna get back. Huh. Weird. It's a little dip there. I don't trust it. I suppose it's just a feature of this terrain around here. Looks like. Down to Norfair. These names are very familiar to me, even if I've not. Mother Brain. With the eyeball. Watching me. We have cutscenes. I wasn't really expecting that, honestly. Hey! That's a new thing. Oh, is that for the screw attack? Yeah, I think that's for screw attack. Simple. All right, well, that cut us through there without having to get hit by those purple guys. That's nice. Do we have any sort of map yet, or are we just rolling on guesswork? We've got two rooms. We need to go to the right, so let's go to the left. Say that, but just like the guys in the previous room. Ooh, we get up there. But first off, obviously a fiery themed area. Ah, I think that's a speed booster spot. I don't know how we're going to get back, but oh, we're going. All right, I'll bomb that area a bit later on. Oh, hey. What's this? A back entrance into Norfair? Or into... No. New zone. That, yeah, that's a solid thing. I believe those are speed booster lines. Yeah, they use a lot of the same kind of iconography for these things. Even if, um... It's in a different game. The symbols for what like power ups you need, because there's a lot of like common power ups that get reused. Uh. Uh. And 
Ah, uh, you know, it probably would have been smarter to go like... Frozo Ruins. The correct way first. And then, uh, like, get an item. That would let us interact with more things. What are these blocks? It's like Chozo blocks. Ah, oh, weird. Something we have to shoot to the side? Is that why we're allowed to get down to the side of it, but not further? Hello. Unknown item. Interesting. Something analysis inclusive. Item incompatible with current suit. Ah. Huh. You say that, and yet... There we go. It lets me blast these things. Yeah, I can shoot straight down. I don't do it often. You can if you jump up. Alright, we are off the beaten track now. Oh yeah, I need to... Alright, oh! That makes it easier. Nice, okay, so even my bombs can break those now. Blowy. Shows of ruins. That seems important. So for anyone who doesn't know its backstory, ooh, that looks very important. So the Chozo are a race of aliens, um, and they were the ones who, when Samus Aran, our main character here, when her family got killed by space pirates, um, they took her in and uh, helped her and made her this suit that she uses to fight, uh, like a modified Chozo battle suit. They're like a weird race of these bird guys who are like extinct now pretty much. They were like dying out when they adopted her. Like almost gone. Well, we're gonna fall here, so let's go as far as we can. Nope. It's not very far. That angry bird face. I was wondering if I could... Hey. Interesting. So that looks like a way to drop down from elsewhere. Man, okay. I thought I was just gonna, like, take a little sidetrack. So th that, this gray block, that's a falling block, like you saw up above earlier. One way. All right. What am I doing wrong here? Is this statue anything? Is it just for looks? How do I get out of here? Let me scrape the corners around here a bit more. Really can't jump through there. Huh. Um. I seem to be a little bit stuck. This could be a problem. I'm guessing there's a way for me to get out of here. But I don't know what it is. Um? Alright, well, I've got two options that are floating through my head right now. Option one, I count this as a, you know, non-standard game over. And I reset back to our last save point. And, you know, uh, we figure it out from there. Um, alternately, I look up a guide online. Try to figure out what happened here. Um, ah, uh, like, I, I feel like they wouldn't... They wouldn't have, like, a, a, like a no-win scenario, right? Where you just, oh, when did that happen? Thought I, okay, 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 there we go. Okay, okay. Got it. 
just, I think, if I hold left hard enough, yep, get through. Oh, hey, nice. What is that? Power grip. Grab and hang from ledges and corners. That sounds new. Oh, nice. Let's us um, do that. All right. How do we... Uh, okay. How do we use that to get out of here? Well, this is going to be... Are we going to be able to, like, grab onto the hands? So I did... When I was reading about this game, one thing I read was that... Um, figure out how this works. When we're on the edge, we can easily do that. Directional shots. To climb up. Okay, pressing up. Okay, pressing up lets us climb up. Jump makes us just jump straight up and probably fall down. Anyway, I was reading that there were some extra areas added into Zero Mission that weren't in the original version. I think this might be one of them. Because A, it's nothing like anything I've ever heard about the game. And B, I vague I know. I did see the names of um the new areas, but like I didn't know the names of most of the things, and so it didn't stand out to me. But yeah, like the wall grip, that's that's something new. Also the artwork seems a lot different around here. Makes me wonder if it's, you know, something. Oh. YOLO. Oh, hey. We're on the surface. All right. Yes, definitely save. So, I think that was just like an optional area. Chozo Ruins. Okay, so Chozo Ruins are technically where we start the game. First cutscene, at least. He panels in that direction. Yeah, I was kind of wondering if it was an optional secret area as well, because there were no enemies. Which made me think that perhaps, um, you know, it was intended to be done potentially really early in the game, potentially really late in the game. And so they didn't want to have, like, enemies that were too strong in there. We can get through here. Learn how to do this climb up thing. Yeah, we can. They go from climbing up into more fall state. All right. Well, that was a whole little, you know, side trip into the ruins that I wasn't expecting. Start going back. Oh, I, I can't. Uh, if I press down an A, that allows me to drop down off ledges. Very purple area. I'm wondering if I should start like circling back to like actually going in the correct direction now. You know, the the area <laughs> that is you know has a blinking light wants me to go down. Who knows, there might be more cool stuff around here. Like, there was a power-up up there that might be easier for me to get now. I'm too close to that Mario pipe, aren't I? By the way, those green pipes, I totally read them as Mario pipes. Like, weirdly enough, this game and Mario, you know, both made by... Same company. Different teams, obviously. Or, I believe. I actually don't know much about the actual production teams. Nice. Alright. Might have been more down there, but I'm gonna believe for now that was just that missile. Alright. Yeah, today has not gone how I thought it would go. Actually, using the bombs to fight something? Ridiculous, unless they're like an enemy designed to be fought with the bombs. This section... 
concerns me. Man, we've got 40, 40 big ones already. Oh, I see. Now we can do this to get back through. How can we... Yep. Get up there. Nice. Okay. I'm glad I waited on this. I was thinking about doing, um, like, the bomb jump to get up there, but I thought, ah, here, that's gonna be a bit of a pain to do, so let's not start the episode out by, like, me failing a platforming trick a bunch of time. Let me go ahead and, um, you know, I'll push forward a little bit, and then I'll come back and do it. Ouch. I'm glad I didn't, because we ended up with a tool to help us. Oh, uh, well, actually, yeah, let's hit the save room real quick, now that we're back on the, the critical path here. to see if we, like, when we get more suit upgrades, since what the power we got from the Chosen, in addition to making the, the things blink, I don't think that was the actual power-up, right? Um, because even our bomb moved the um, blocks. So, you know, once we get another suit... Oh, were we supposed to go this way? Were, were we supposed to come this way, find that we couldn't get through, and then... Alright, so it wasn't optional. <laughs> okay, I... Th oh, ooh, oh, ooh. Oops. I thought I was off the track for a long time, but it turns out I just went the right way. Accidental-like. I don't know why I think that wall should be breakable. Samus, I wish you could, like, aim slightly more down. Okay. Wait, now, does touching the actual thing hurt me? No. Just bounce back. All right. That's good to know. Just have to worry about the projectiles, not the thing itself, because it's not actually an enemy why we can't harm it at all. Man. Are we really going to get the speed booster so early? We seem to be seeing lots of speed booster blocks. Go to the right. Let's tank up here, though. What we can get to. Finally feeling like I can just like throw out some missiles now and again. Normally I just like really don't use the missiles much. Ouch. Those things do hurt when they connect though. Ouch. Okay. Get up there. I'll be something with this gray stuff, I assume. Oh, hey, that's breakable. There was some way for us to, like, bounce off that enemy. We could maybe use that to get up. But I'm kind of low on health-ish. And nothing in my arsenal tells me I should be able to bounce on enemy heads. More speed booster spots. Weird dual eyeball thing. Lines up with where we're going. Hard to tell. Oh, nope. So I know what that red room on the main map means. Red means it's a room full of lava and death. Now, you might think that the other rooms full of lava were hot, but funnily enough, they aren't. At least not hot enough for Samus to care about. I'll be chopping through there at some point. Figure out intuitively how to get off and off. See, you think this would be super hot, but no, it's not that hot. It's the red rooms that are hot enough to actually deal damage over time. So ledge grab in the original game. Okay, I'm, I want to look that up now. And if 
If we fall into this lava, that's gonna be bad news. Hey, somehow it got through. All right. What's this? Ice beam, really already? Oh, we're gonna be able to use that, freeze that thing and make a platform out of it and then jump up and get that missile. This beam can freeze enemies in place. You can safely stand on frozen enemies. Yes, indeed I can. All right, let's heal up. Well, now that we've got some grippy ledge abilities. Ooh. The ability to freeze enemies in place and jump on them. We've got some more interesting things we can do now. But to see what we're going to do, you'll have to come back tomorrow. We're ending it here today. I'll see you guys later. Bye.